Hi everybody, let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. It could be about love, finances, events, trips, anything. Please subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Let's begin. This spread is for all Earth signs. Perhaps your story isn't here, but there is also a separate spread just for your sign. We've got the Three of Cups, the World, the Seven of Cups, and Death on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. So I think something is coming to an end, a chapter of your life, or if you were confused about something, or you had multiple choices, you were not sure, you weren't sure about what to do or whom to um, spend the rest of your life with, right? This kind of a confusion is coming to an end, or you, you're dealing with a Scorpio. Um, either way, a chapter of your life is ending and another chapter is beginning and you are celebrating whatever this uh, beginning or an end means to you. No matter how you slice it or dice it, uh, dice it um, something is about to transform over the weekend. I don't really see any negative cards except for maybe the death card but um, I'm not really afraid of it. Um, because uh, combined with all these other cards, I don't see anything abruptly ending or anything uh, negative. All I see is uh, positive energy here. Something You're about to end something that didn't serve you any good and you will um, start something new and uh, celebration is on the horizon for you. Taurus, we've got Death, the Eight of Cups, the Four of Wands and uh, Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Something comes to an end over the weekend or you are dealing with a Scorpio and uh, you're leaving that behind and you're walking away from it. And what you're walking towards to is a new relationship and a happy one, I must say. The Four of Wands is the card of a stable, happy relationship. Some people call it the 11-11 card. And, uh, you're walking towards that, you're leaving something that didn't serve you anymore behind. And we've got the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This is a card of a um, very stable, abundant relationship with uh, real estate, you know, with uh, children. And I think this card is kind of similar to uh, the Four of Wands card in this particular case. So you're leaving something behind that didn't serve you anymore and you're walking towards something much more stable and much more abundant. Virgo. We've got the Six of Swords, uh, Seven of Wands, clarified by the Nine of Wands and uh, we also have the Fool. Um, somebody is trying to uh, reconcile with you. Somebody is trying to get back into your good graces but you are not open to it at all. We've got the seven of ones clarified by the nine of ones. You are um, putting up a wall between you and this person and you are fighting them off. And besides that, um, you have already moved on. You are not really um, even considering uh, getting back together with this person, whoever this person is. And uh, this makes you feel liberated and uh, you're just moving on in your life and leaving this person, whoever this person is, behind. Capricorn. We've got the Queen of Pentacles, the Sun, the Page of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or another Capricorn. I think the Queen of Pentacles in the spread is you. Um, male or female doesn't really matter and you're either dealing with children if you have children or it could be your kids children if you're a grandparent right or it could be your friends kids or this is all about uh, messages and offers the page of Pentacles could be a small but very grounded very solid offer at the same time the page of swords is also about communication a very straight through, very straightforward communication, or this could be somebody is spying on either you or you could be the one spying on somebody. But this whole thing is making you very, very happy. The Sun card is the happiest card in the deck and that's how you'll most likely feel. 
if you're spending time with your family, with your children, then that will make you happy or you could be receiving or extending an offer. There could be messages going back and forth between you and um, other people or another person. And all of this, like I said, is making you extremely happy. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.